Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Today is Friday, 21st day of January 2022. This is the Voice of Turkey's English language transmission broadcasting from Ankara in the 25 meter band between 13:30 and 14:30 UTC on 12035 kilohertz to Europe. You can listen to us over the Turksat 3A and 4A satellites and on the internet at www.trt.net.tr through the Voice of Turkey link. Our email address is englishdesk at trt.net.tr. Following the news and the review of the Turkish press, the Voice of Turkey will present our feature programs and some music. But first, the news. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has warned that there is still a real risk of a Russian invasion of Ukraine. The risk is real. The risk is high, he told German public broadcast. <laughs> Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov in Geneva on Friday. Russia has massed considerable forces on Ukraine's border, 100,000 troops. It continues to send forces near Ukraine, including most recently to Belarus. So the risk is very serious, he said. After meetings with the Ukrainian leadership in Kiev on Wednesday, Blinken met his German, French and British counterparts in Berlin on Thursday to discuss the latest developments and possible measures to deter Russia's military aggression against Ukraine. He said the U.S., its allies and partners are united and speaking with one voice on the matter and any Russian military move into Ukraine will have massive consequences for Russia. Commenting on his upcoming meeting with Lauro, Blinken said he doesn't anticipate any breakthroughs in Geneva, but talks will show whether Russia is really interested in a diplomatic solution to the crisis. We'll know more about whether Russia is genuinely committed to trying to resolve these differences diplomatically through dialogue or not. Either way, we're prepared and we're united, he said. Russia denies it is planning an attack and has instead presented security demands, including a ban on former Soviet nations from joining NATO to ensure peace. Iran's President Ebrahim Raisi, addressing the lower house of the Russian parliament on Thursday, said the strategy of domination had failed the U and the U.S. was in its weakest position. Raisi, who arrived in Moscow on Wednesday on a high-profile visit, used his address to the state Duma in lashing out in, in, at the U.S. and hailing the growing proximity between Tehran and Moscow. He received a standing ovation and a round of applause from Russian lawmakers after his speech, which many see as an invitation to Russia to form a regional alliance against the U.S. He said the power of independent nations was experiencing a historic growth while accusing the U.S. and its allies of seeking to weaken independent governments from within through economic sanctions, destabilization, promotion of insecurity and false narratives. Describing the U.S.-led coalition as an evil alliance, the Iranian president said there are now complex plans to send terrorists on new missions from the Caucasus to Central Asia, adding that a pure Islamic target can prevent the growth of extremism and terrorism. Raisi, elected to office last July, noted that the U.S. military occupation in Iraq and Afghanistan was ending due to resistance of nations, which is, which is said serves independence of countries. He also slammed NATO, accusing it of infiltrating various geographical areas with new coverings that threaten the common interests of independent states, promoting pro-Western governments and confronting independent democracies based on national identities and traditions is part of NATO's cultural projects that reflect the hypocrisy of this diminishing pattern of behavior, Raisi told the Pat Hall. He said the policy of sanctioning nations was a common form of new domination, adding that Countering it requires the cooperation of independent states and a collective response. Otherwise, sanctions will affect all countries, even U.S. allies, under various pretexts, Raisi noted. Defending his country's nuclear program, the recently elected Iranian president said, Washington claims that sanctions are due to Iran's nuclear activities, but the country's activities are legal and under the constant supervision of the International Atomic Energy Agency. <laughs> 